Hi and welcome to Still Sassy or welcome back if you've been here before. So in today's video I'm going to be concentrating on the eyes and in particular I'm talking about when you mostly want to wear one colour such as this colour here which I'll tell you about in a second and although you just want to wear one colour you could do with some definition. This happens a lot as we mature and our eyes get slightly hooded or we've got small eyes anyway or uh, very set back. We need a bit of definition in our eyes and in our makeup. So what I'm going to show you today is how I wear just one colour, sort of, but provide some definition to my eyes anyway. So the result when you look in is that pretty much got one colour on. But I know that I've put some definition in there with a different colour underneath. So that's what we're going to concentrate on today. So before I go on to do that, if you are enjoying this video or like this channel, then please think about subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it and like this video too. So apart from the eyes, I've already got my makeup on, which always feels very weird because I wouldn't normally do all my makeup and then put my eyes on, but for this video it works. So I'm going to put one eyeshadow on one eyelid and then a different eyeshadow on the other. And the difference is going to be that one's going to be a powder and the other is cream. So it doesn't matter which way you like to go when it comes to choosing the texture of your eye makeup, this should work. Okay, so for this first eye, I'm going to be using the powder. And the eyeshadow that I want to use mostly is from Hourglass and it's a scattered light in smoke. These are really beautiful if you've not used them before. This one's nearly down to the pan, as you can see. I like it that much. Um, it's the only colour I've got, but I am going to go back with some more because they're so easy to apply. And this is one eyeshadow that does look lovely when you have it you know, in the majority of your eye area. Some eyeshadows don't work that way, but this one does. I've also been enjoying this Jones Road just a sec in bronze. This is a really um, like bouncy texture. It's hard to explain. It's like a mousse, a moussey bouncy texture. It's another one of those that you can use all over your eyelid and it looks superb. And to add definition on this side with the hourglass, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Palette. Because this is a brown colour, which you'll see as it goes on, but it's um, quite shimmery, I want to use the brown as my definition colour. So I'm just going to choose one of these browns. You could use any brown, you could use any colour. So I've just chosen brown today, but if I was using, um, wanted to use a silvery colour all over my eyes or pink or blue, then I would choose a corresponding colour to use in the definition, but just slightly darker than the one I'm going to use on my eyelid. Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to choose my definition colour from this palette and the hourglass is the one that I'm going to end up with showing all over my eyelid and what I need is to choose a colour that's going to be dark enough to give me the definition through this hourglass. So I think I'm going to go with this one here. What I'm going to do is take a brush, this is a, a Real Techniques brush, quite small and quite flat because I'm going to be trying to get it to the corner of my eyes and in the crease as well. And I find, particularly if you've got hooded eyes or eyes that are just sagging slightly, then a small brush helps all the way. So I'm going to put a bit of that right on the tip of my brush. So look it into the mirror, straight on if you can. I'm just going to put some at the corner there. Keep dripping. I'd rather put a small amount on and then re-dip than put too much on to start with. You don't need it to be loads, so that at the edge is fine for now. Dip in again and I'm then just going to run it across my eyelid there. You'll have seen people do this a lot when they're doing um, eyeshadow makeup that's sitting in the crease, which is what we call this bit of our eye here. And then I'm just going to go as far as I feel I need to. And then what I will do is take a different type of brush. This is a colour pop. I like this one because it's it's quite wide, but it is it's flat that way, so it fits quite nicely into my little socket there. I'm just going to move that out a little bit. I'm going to tap a bit more on, just building up slowly so that 
I'm not over-egging it. I'm going to make sure it all looks nice in this corner. Joined up. I'm also going to show you in a minute when I've done this how I then put concealer on. Even though I've already got concealer on, I'm going to put some more on. Just to show you how I like to sort of lift it up at the corner. Which really helps. So I'm just back in with that one. So you can see the shape that I've made here. It's straight across the crease and then down onto this bit at the edge there. And it's not, you know, massively dense. I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to just make sure it's nice and bended in this corner. Not any rough edges. Okay, okay, and then I'm going to take the Hourglass, which looks like this. Beautiful shimmery colour. Don't be scared of shimmers. They're absolutely fine. Um, and with this, I'm going to take another uh, Real Techniques brush, this one here. I like these because they've got small small heads. I've had them donkey's years. They're not new at all. Um, but they scrub it well and keep going. So I'm just going to load up my brush with that and then I'm just going to, as you would normally, just swipe it on to the eyes like this. But rather than stopping where you would expect me to stop, which will be there where my darker eyeshadow comes in, I'm actually just going to go straight over that. So I'm making the hourglass spread across my whole eyelid and I'm going to do the same in the socket because I want this to be the predominant colour. It's quite nice sometimes just having one colour all over your eyes. Especially if it's like this, a tiny bit glittery. I wouldn't call it glitter really, just shimmery. And then take my blending brush again and just blend it a little bit. I don't want to undo all the work that I've done underneath. But what that's now giving me is my all over eyeshadow, which is light and adding sparkle, making my eyes look bright. But you can still see that at the corner of this eye and in the socket, particularly the start of the socket here, I've got the definition that I need. So that's how I would do it with powder. You can see what it looks like there. I would do exactly the same if I was using the Jones Road. I'd just probably, I'd probably pick a similar colour to darken it because it's a similar colour to the hourglass, not quite as glittery. So now I'm moving over to the other eye and I'm going to show you the same technique but with, um, well stick eyeshadows actually, but cream would work too. And for this I'm using a nude stick in, I think it's magnetic matte, which is actually quite dark, you can see. That's going to go and do the definition for me. And then I'm going to use um, a Kiko uh, long lasting eyeshadow stick. And I love these, I've got a fair few. This is shade 13, they all come in numbers, <laughs> not names. And this one is quite a coppery colour. And these two should look nice together. And that's got a bit of shimmer in it too, but the new stick is matte. So for this, I'm just going to clean any excess off the brushes. And I'm going to start obviously with the nude stick because it's the darker colour that I need. Now, these, if you've ever used them, they come in a set called, sorry, I'm looking over there because that's where they are, uh, Dark Romantics. I think you could probably buy them individually, but I just got them in a set, sort of a, a nudist set. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing, but I'm going to be quick about it. So I'm going to put some on the edge there. And before taking it up, I'm going to get my brush and start to blend because it really doesn't blend well at all. So, I mean, you could use any, obviously, crayon sticks or liquid or creams, but I, I've chosen these really for the colour rather than the texture. So say, this isn't the easiest to work with. And then I'm going to do the same as I did before, just across my crease there and get my brushing quickly. Just make sure it's 
nicely blended. Get my other. There we are. We can manage that before it's set properly. I'm also checking all the time with my eyes that I have some eyeshadow here because although I haven't got massively butted eyes, um, you can see you know here I do have a little bit, uh, and I've got one eye smaller than the other. This one's smaller. That's been a lifelong thing, but hey ho, we do what we can with what we've got. Nobody cares really. So you can see I've created the same effect on this side. So this is quite golden, well it's bronzy golden. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put quite a bit of it in the corner where you'd expect me to put it, but then just take it further and up into the socket. Now although this is a stick and it goes on lovely, I am going to take my brush and just give it a little blend. What I tend to do is blend them so I know that the colour is nicely scattered about and then I'll just go back in and make sure that the colour on my lid is as bright as I want it to be. Now I'm always looking when I'm putting eyeshadow on not to come all the way down here because that's when your eyes start to droop or look droopy. It's about keeping it up, up, up if we can. So here we've got going on this colour right into the crease and on the eye lid and still got the definition of the, the darker bits. So there we have it, it looks very odd now with two different colours on. And now I'm just going to take uh, my concealer, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer. I think it's number four, I can't, I think it's rubbed off. Um, so I've got concealer on already, so I'm not going to go massive with this. But what I would normally do when I use, use my concealer, because my concealer always goes on after my eyeshadow, I would always make sure that I've got some here, right on the outside, and that I'm pulling it up. Can you see? Because I want my eyes to look like they're going upwards. Nothing wants to go downwards. And that's true really, no matter what your age, but more important when you are more mature because things start to creep down a bit, which is natural and it's fine, we can work with that. So there you go, pulling the face that you have to pull when you're doing this sort of thing. So I'm just making sure on this side too that I'm almost like wafting across where the eyeshadow ends, just to make sure that everything's looking lif lifted. All right, I'm just going to finish that off by using some mascara, even though they're two different colours. Let's finish it off and see how it looks. I always use eyelash curlers. I have actually got quite long eyelashes, but when I haven't got makeup on, you probably not. You know, when I haven't got mascara on, you're probably not seeing that too much. Um, but I still like to use eyelash curlers because um, they just make a real difference, particularly if you've got spa, sparse eyelashes or that you know they're starting to thin. And then I'm going to have a go with this, well I've used it before, this number seven Define and Enhance mascara, which is quite new. I think I bought this about two weeks ago when it had just come out. And it's okay. It's got that sort of wand on it, not massive. And then I just get it as close to the bottom as I can. It's annoying, isn't it, when you get your hair caught in your mascara and push it up. Looking down into my mirror, so giving myself the best chance of getting my brush in there and all the way to the top. Trying my best to get the outside edge coated and again, you can get in the mascara to make your eyelashes go up because up is best. Same on the other side. And then I always go in with a second coat. There's always a second coat where I'm concerned. I don't think I ever just put one coat on. So here you go, that's with mascara on. And then I was just thinking as I was looking into it then, if I was actually going out with these on, with the, the 
hourglass, I would probably take a little bit on a very thin brush like this one, which is a shallow tilbury, and just run some of it underneath my eye very lightly, just to finish that off. See? And I could do the same on the other side, it's going to be brighter, but okay. The mouth again. Right. I might even take that just slightly into my waterline just to bring it all together. So there you go, that's how you can use one colour of eyeshadow across all your eyelid but put some definition in there anyway by putting a darker colour underneath. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please give it a like, this video, if that helped in any way. I'd love it if you could give it a try. Let me know how you get on in the comments or any of the comments you have or any questions. Put them down below in the comment section and I'll be right back to you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.